Okay, here we are in Windows. Uh, we're going to just do the histogram that's required for part B, question two, for the uh, assignment marks. So setting up this uh, frequency distribution was done in the other video. I'm just going to show you how to produce the histogram from this table of numbers here in Windows Excel. Uh, so here we have those bins from going from 5% uh, up to um, 100%, and for the assignment marks, here are the um, here are the counts. All right. So what we're going to do is to insert and go across to the charts, and let's have one of these column charts, a uh, 2D column chart, in fact, and it comes out looking like that, which is obviously not what we want. What Excel has given us is uh, uh, a clustered column chart of each of these three um, sets of numbers here, when what in fact we want is a histogram of the assignment marks relative to the bins. So to fix that, we'll go up to Select Data here, and what we want for our series here is just the assignment marks, nothing else. So let's untick the bins to get rid of those, and we'll untick the exam marks to get rid of those. And then what we want for our horizontal or category axis labels is going to be the bins themselves. Okay, so we'll, we'll edit those and select this range here to be our x axis. And you can see now that's looking much better. It's looking like the kind of histogram that we would like to see. Um, just to make things a little bit clearer, perhaps uh, let's I'll just right clicked and move this chart over into a new chart sheet like this. Um, and what do we need to do with this to turn it into a histogram? Well, really, uh, we just need to get these columns here uh, to join up so there's no gaps between them. It's, it's, that's the convention for a histogram. So we'll click on those and right click and format the data series. And it gives us these options here. And the gap width is the thing that we're talking about. So. Let's just dial that right back to zero. And there you go. There we have a histogram. So uh, that will do. Obviously, other things can be done just as we have done in, in um, uh, some of the previous videos, such as putting a vertical axis in. Uh, we probably want to increase, I guess, the, the, you know, the font size on this axis here. So this font size is really small, maybe. Well, might bump that up to like um, 16 or something. Okay, and now you can read it. Okay, so I just you just click the axis, click the axis, right click, and then font, and then select something that seems like it makes sense, and you get some labels that uh, are actually legible. And the same for the title that could be edited as well. Uh, but the main thing is we now have a, a histogram that represents the shape of the distribution of the assignment marks.